All right, well, let's talk about this weather because, yeah. uh, you know, here we are. We're going into midweek, mm -hmm. and we're looking toward the weekend already. We always course, do. Yeah. You know? And the rain chance is going to be pretty significant this weekend, unfortunately. But tomorrow, not looking too bad. If you need to get out and do some beautifying of your lawn, if you want to get some mowing done, maybe do it early in the day because in the afternoon, we'll have that small chance for rain. Temperature near 80 degrees. Rain will not be everywhere, but I tell you, it's going to feel muggy. I think anything outside the next few days is probably best to be done in the morning because we'll have that summery feel the second half of the day and rain chances will be on their way up. Now, notice the high, highest bar here is widespread. We're not not going to see widespread rain on any particular day as it looks right now, but the rain goes from isolated to scattered. So we'll see a little bit more toward this weekend. So better chance that your uh, outdoor activities could get rained on during the weekend as well. We've seen a few light showers north of Spartanburg there toward Boiling Springs around Fingerville, Chesney. That is it tonight. And we're going to see most of that calm down toward the morning commute. Temperatures nice and mild. 60s for most of the upstate. We're at 70 in Newberry. 72 in the Greenville looking at 64 up in Asheville. Tonight we're going to get down to around 62 in the upstate. Maybe a stray shower just like we're seeing in northern Spartanburg County, uh, but most spots dry, a little patchy fog. With all that moisture in the air, the humidity, we're going to have a better chance of having some of that reduced visibility early in the morning because of the fog. 57 for western North Carolina, an isolated shower possible. Into tomorrow, temperatures rebound back to near 80 degrees once again, and there will be a chance, especially Especially during this time frame, about 3 to 7 p.m., that we could see a rogue shower or thunderstorm, but rain chance only at about 20%. And you can see here, just not a whole lot to talk about on Wednesday. So good thing uh, if you've got anything planned to do outside as we go into Wednesday night, Thursday morning, not a whole lot happening either. We'll have cloud cover early. Our next system will be approaching and you can see it here on Futurecast. It's a line of heavy showers and some thunderstorms as of 7 p.m. But it's going to fall apart as it moves into our area. We're going to see a lot of it lose its punch and then we're going to see maybe a rumble of thunder in the mountains before it's all said and done Thursday night. So here's kind of a recap of that. There's the front that's going to be kicking all that off. Here's Thursday evening as some of the heavier showers make their way our make make their way into our area falling apart though as we head toward Friday morning but by the evening we could see more showers and storms ignite it's all because this front is going to stay around the area and act as a focus for more rain so here it comes on Saturday scattered showers some strong thunderstorms can't be ruled out depending on how warm it gets in the afternoon and then Sunday our Mother's Day look at the coverage of rain we're talking about a pretty good chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms so if you don't have one over you you'll probably see one in the distance at least uh, during the day on Sunday. So if your plans take you to Artist Fair, I think Friday looks like the drier of the three days and it's not going to be a total washout over the weekend. Mornings should be okay afternoons. That's when those showers and storms will really get going using the heat of the day as a little bit of fuel and recapping that Mother's Day forecast. It's looking a little bit soggy, but I don't think that it's going to be raining all day long. Temperatures in the 70s, a great day to maybe take mom shopping or hit up your favorite brunch spot. As we go into next week, we'll see the sunshine return Monday and Tuesday as luck would have it. Highs will be back to near 80 degrees in the mountains. Small rain chances the next couple of days. It gets a little better toward Friday as that front approaches and then a good chance of showers and storms as the front sits right on top of our area this weekend.